Now my uh, Buddhist friends, uh, what do you call it? Southeast of Dharmanpura, where Sariputra debated with the heretics, with the Hindus, and he won the debate. See, who is Sariputra? Sariputra, see, all your names are mispronounced. And if you uh, uh, go to the correct places, you find the real names. Sariputra is a very uh, important figure in Bihar's, uh, what you call it, culture. His name is Parasar. Parasar. You have put it the wrong way round, upside down. Sari Putra. Now put the Sari Putra upside down. Putra Sari. Sari Putra. Putra Sari Parasar. The real name is Parasar. Sounds similar to Putra Sari. Para Putra Sari Sar. Parasar Putra Sari. Sari Putra. Now Sari Putra, what do you call it? Southeast of that is a place called Muraupurva. Muraupurva is the place where Vishakha lived. Now, who was Vishakha? She was the chief lay disciple of the Buddha, a female disciple. She was very beautiful. She was beautiful she, in three things. Her, what do you call it? Uh, ornaments were most beautiful and the most expensive in India. She was very beautiful and she wore the most beautiful clothes. So she was beautiful three times. And uh, basically she came, she hailed from a village called uh, Bhadiya Nagra. That is Badhaya just ne next to my town. Badhaya just next to my town and there is a very big temple dedicated to her. She is known as Maharani Mai because she was married to the king of Kosala. Now Kosala is Khurasa next to Badhaya. Kosala is next to Khurasa next to Badhaya and what do you call it? She was married to the king of Kosala, to the king of uh, Khurasa. So that is why in Badhaya they pray the main deity is Maharani Mai. Now the Buddha, uh, he liked uh, the king of uh, uh, Sravasti, King Pasenadi had come to Badaiya, uh, Bhadiya Nagara, in Buddhist text it's Bhadiya Nagara. They had come to Badaiya, uh, Bhadiya Nagara was half in Ang and half in Magad, and that is exactly what Badaiya is. It is half in uh, Magad, that is Patna, and half in Mag Ang, that is Munger. So, what do you call it? Uh, uh, the uh, king of Sravasti he likes the you know, living style of the people here. So, he asked the Buddha to request some people to relocate to Sravasti. That he will give them land. So that the people in his area can see how the people of, of here live. And they can, you know, copy them and uh, increase their standard of living and their lifestyle. So Buddha, he, what do you call it, tells them to relocate. I request her to relocate and she relocates with her husband. Folks, in Badaiya, which is just next to my town, is Maharani, my temple, which is your uh, Vishaka, who was the queen of Kura, uh, Kosala. And they say, that a sadhu called Sri Ghar Baba. Sri Ghar. Ghar means home. He had asked them to relocate their homes. The Buddha had asked them to relocate their homes and the people locally know, uh, know of uh, what you call it, uh, Baba called Sri Ghar Baba. Ghar means home. So folks, that is none other than the Buddha. He was the one who got the people of Badaiya to make this temple to Visakha, Maharani, my temple. Anyway, that is a different story. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Visakha is uh, his chief lay disciple, uh, female disciple. Her husband did not believe in the Buddha. He was a Jain and he did not believe in the Buddha and she asks him to attend a couple of his teachings and after attending a couple of te his teachings her husband uh, converts to Buddhism and becomes a follower. Folks, uh, in the Buddhist text they have mispronounced it as Mriga uh, 
पसंदा मृगा पसंदा इट इज नॉट मृग मृगा इज मुड़ाव पसंदा इज पुड़वा मुड़ाव पुड़वा द प्लेस इज नेम इज मुड़ाव पुड़वा दैट इज द प्लेस वे वॉट यू कॉल इट विशाखा स्टेट द शी वॉज वॉट यू कॉल इट द बुद्धस चीफ फीमेल फॉलोअर एंड शी वॉज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ फाइनेंसर ऑल्सो she was uh, one day she wanted to make a sangrama for the buddha and she wanted to make a sangrama for the buddha for that she uh, took her ornaments and uh, put it up for sale uh, so that she could make the sangrama uh, uh, for the buddha with the money got from the sale of her ornaments but uh, there is no one to buy the ornaments because they are too costly it was the best the best ornaments in india those days they were too costly so visakha buys it herself and with that money she makes this sangrama for the buddha so my buddhist friends don't forget to visit this spot and you know pay respect to visakha in murao purva folks and don't forget to follow like and subscribe to my page buddha exhume if you found this video what do you call it educative